Hey everyone, my name is Danny, aka Cupio, and I make 3D printable miniatures. And I make models to give away for free on a semi weekly basis. So if you want to know what I come up with next, please subscribe. Um, but for the month of May, I came up with the Chibi Orc Warrior, the Skeleton Archer, and the Skeleton Horse Mount. And you can download these right now for free. There will be a link in the description down below. Now you're probably wondering why two skeleton-y things, and it's because last month I made a chibi skeleton, and it is by far the most liked model that I've ever made. And I don't know, 411 at the time of this recording, uh, that might be not a lot, but I usually get like less than 10. So I came to the conclusion that everybody must love skeletons, right? So I came up with the archer and the horse. And I made the orc because I had a commenter say orcs will be pretty cool. I don't know. Not a lot of people are jumping on that bandwagon, at least not yet. Um, but like I said, if you want to know what I come up with next, please subscribe. And if you like what I do and you want to support me, I do give away uh, extra bits to my Patreon supporters. And that is what we're going to talk about right now. Um, so let's just get this out of the way. Uh, last month, we had the barrel crab and... You know, we had the extras for it, but uh, I kind of wanted to put the cannons on like the shoulders. So I made a separate back attachment that is able to hold up the cannons. So that is now a part of the Patreon exclusives. And I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of ridiculous, but kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's available. Um, and let's move on to the orc. That's not that popular. And because it wasn't that it wasn't doing so well. I didn't make up too many options for it. I actually only have one, and it's just a Razorback boar themed helmet. I was gonna make a full like armored suit for the orc too, but uh, I have a certain allotted time for these things, and I just ran out of time. So the helmet is all we have. But um, I made this orc a little bigger than my human counterparts, uh, a little, little taller and a little wider, kind of like the dwarf. So it actually mixes well with the dwarf figure that I made. Um, so as you can see here, you know, you can see what the orc would kind of look like if it has like armored up arms and different weapons and stuff. So let me know if you like this. I actually think the helmet looks pretty cool. But I realize, you know, not everyone is into boars. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you like that idea. If I should keep going with the orcs or just scrap it all together. Moving on to the skeleton archer. Like I said, the chibi skeleton did so well. I had to make more. Uh, we'll see how this one does, but I, I like it. Um, but with... The skeleton archer extras, I just have the bow, like just, you know, on one arm, kind of carrying the bow, not shooting it, and the empty other arm. I liked the hood idea with the with the skull, and it kind of reminded me of like the Grim Reaper. So a lot of Grim Reapers, you can't see a face at all. So I just took the skull out and left the hood. And this is what I came up with. And I look I think it looks pretty cool. Gave it a little robe and the scythe as well from last month, because we already have it. And yeah, so if you ever wanted like a little Grim Reaper chippy, now we have one. And uh I wanted to make another like bone themed weapon, like a bone sword. And he comes with uh that option as well. Moving on to the skeleton horse. This also took a lot a lot of time just to engineer it. It's I don't know if you can tell, but it's really hard to put a one inch space on a two inch miniature without the, the miniature just being like a giant hole. It's like fifty percent of the base, right? So that's that's a lot of space that I have to clear. If you think the horse looks a little too big, that's why. Especially because the skeleton, if I remove like the middle of it, there's nothing for the back to like latch onto. So, but I like how it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. And for the Patreon exclusives, we have like the the horse walking. What is it called? Trot trotting. It's trotting. We also have a skeleton unicorn head. 
and we have some Pegasus wings. Now the wings, uh, there's two different ones, one that's more like folded and one that's kind of out like it's about to fly. But and the body of the Pegasus is very like specific. Um, it has two like holes on the shoulders that, you know, that's where the wings go. So once you glue them on, it's kind of set in place. You can't move them again. So yeah, just to recap, here is what you can get for free. You got the Orc Warrior, the Skeleton Archer, and the Skeleton Horse Mount. And here are all the exclusive things for my Patreon supporters. And if you don't know, my Patreon is a little different. Uh, when you join, you have access to everything that I've ever made. So if you watch like a past video, and I say it's a Patreon exclusive, if you join, it'll be available. Um, I don't do like monthly releases. I just, it's it's the Netflix model. So here's a little sneak peek into what I'm working on next. So if you want to stay up to date, please subscribe. And I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.